Hi, this is Tawny with Interquilton. I'm here to show you today how to make a face mask with pockets and ties. And you can get a free pattern for this project at interquilton.com. Thank you for supporting our healthcare heroes. Now don't forget to pre-wash and dry the fabrics to pre-shrink. Start by cutting your main fabric 9 inches by 9 inches. Cut your lining fabric 8 inches by 9 inches. We're going to get ready to sew a seam 5 eighths inch down from the top, 2 and a half inches from each side, leaving a space in the middle. Now put your fabrics right side together and match the top edges. And go to the sewing machine and do your stitching. Don't forget to back stitch at the openings. Here's how it looks after stitching. Now open this up and finger press that seam open a bit. Then take it to your pressing station and give it a good press. wrong side of the mask, but we're going to turn the seam allowance of the lining fabric, not the main fabric, just the lining fabric, we're going to turn it under and we're going to press that. Now you'll top stitch close to that folded edge. Here's the finished upper edge of the pocket. Now bring your lining around so you're folding the whole piece right sides together and match up what will be the bottom edges. Sew a quarter inch seam along that bottom edge. All right, open that seam up and take it to the pressing station to give it a good press. And here we go. Now, turn the whole thing right side out. Lay it down so that that bottom seam is at the very bottom of the mask. Smooth that out a little bit. Notice that that shorter lining made the main fabric come around the top a little bit. And that's what we wanted. If you're inserting a wire, this is where it'll go into that little section right at the top. And it'll be encased in there when you stitch close to that edge. You're going to stitch right along the seam allowance and across the folded edge. And you could give a stitch or two on either end of the wire if you'd like. Here is the opening now for the filter. There's where the wire is. Okay, I gotta trim a couple of loose threads here. And then we're going to start making our pleats. Just going to sort of pinch a little fabric and fold it and then secure it with a pin or a wonder clip. And you're going to make three pleats from one side to the other. And once you have those three pleats secured, we'll go to the next step. There we 
go. Bench and fold. Now we're just going to stitch down both edges to hold those pleats firmly in place. Let's look and see what we did. Nice pleats. The edges are stitched down. Mm -hmm. Got your opening for the filter pocket, and you got your wire in there, or maybe not. Now make your ties from a strip that's two inches wide and about 34 inches long. First thing you'll do is to fold it in half, give it a good crease with your iron, then you'll take the raw edges of the strip and fold them into the middle crease and then fold those edges together and there you have your strip to make the tie. We're going to fold in about a half of an inch of the short ends to give it a nice clean finish with no raw edges showing. Find the center of your tie because you're going to use that center mark to know where to put the mask into the tie. And yes, it goes into the tie in between the two layers. And this is a great place to use clips. Pins are still okay. Okay, now the first thing we will do is to stitch and backstitch on that little short end before we continue down the long double folded edge. Little camera adjustment here. Hmm. Okay, needle down and pivot. Remember that you're sewing close to the edge of the double folded edges. When you get to the edge of the mask, just after your needle hits the mask, you'll pause and change to a zigzag stitch. There we are. Now the zigzag stitch being wider, obviously, helps to make sure that the tie on the underside of the mask, which you can't currently see, gets caught into the stitching plus the zigzag makes it a good sturdy seam. And getting to the edge of the mask, I just pause and change back to a straight stitch, do a quick back stitch, and continue on down that long edge. And when I get to the short end, I'm going to pivot around the corner and do a little back stitch. Now 
And there we are. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is finish the other tie on the second side and you are all done.